Hello everyone. Okay, and welcome to my second session on Business Central uh, implementation. In today's uh, session, we'll be discussing about how to create chart of accounts. Uh, this session is in continuation with my uh, first session that is there. So, uh, for in order to visit that, check out the link in the description below, and also I've linked. Uh, the whole playlist as well. So you can go and refer to that. All right, so let's get started. So I'm on my business central uh, dashboard or my role center. And in order to create chart of accounts, I'll search for chart of accounts. Chart of accounts is nothing but a list of general ledger accounts in which uh, you organize your transactions. OK, so in order to create a chart of accounts, I'll just click on new. OK, and this is my chart of accounts card page. OK, so I'll first start with giving a number. OK, um, I'll go ahead and. Create one. OK, um, so let me explain the fields after I've created one. And okay, so select account categories. Okay, and okay, all right. So the field number is a unique identifier for the chart of accounts. Uh, typically, it is recommended to have uh, different numbering schemes. So for example, like 10,000 is for assets, we'll have 20,000 for liabilities, and so on and so forth, right? So income balance defines if you're uh, using this GL account for income statement or balance sheet. Uh, account category will let you categorize your accounts. So we have account categories and subcategories and based upon those we can. Um, we can categorize our account. It's possible to add more subcategories uh, through. This page here itself, so you can just click on new and you can add your account subcategories. Debit and credit defines what type of entry you're expecting in this chart of accounts. So ideally we go ahead with both. And in account type, we have heading, uh, total, begin total, and end total, as well as posting. So heading is just like a heading line that is created. It has nothing to do with uh, creating or posting any kind of accounts here. Balance will give you the total balance of the account. Reconciliation account will let you use this account as part of the reconciliation process. Automatic external text will uh, add this text to this uh, wherever you're using this chart of accounts. Direct posting means you can use this chart of accounts whenever you're posting transactions through general journal or any kind of journal. Uh, block to will block using this GL account anywhere. So if you have selected it to true, meaning you cannot use this chart of account. Last modified date is a system field. Uh, omit default description in journal. Whenever you select this uh, chart of accounts, it will select the description. Posting type in this uh, basically general posting type, general business product uh, posting group and business product posting group. These are related to the posting setups. At the moment, we don't have anything, but in as we proceed, we'll add more to it. So it basically defines what kind of uh, transactions you're going to do. Similarly for VAT business posting group, as well as uh, VAT product posting group. We also have tax group code as well. Again, as as mentioned, uh, we won't have anything here since we, we have created the company from scratch. Consolidation is uh, for multiple consolidation process that we do uh, when you're using parent-child relationship. Reporting is for using this report. So for example, if there are any kind of exchange rate adjustments, you can do that. And cost accounting is used for uh, cost accounting purpose. So I'll go ahead and create a couple of more chart of accounts. And let's do that.
so we probably don't have bank over here so i'm going to just go ahead and create new select this one and this operating activities and i'll just hit okay and here i can go back and select my bank account okay so i can add more categories over here so this is and then in order to close this chart of account i'll go ahead and create one with ending total Okay, and I'll just go ahead and create indent chart of account. So what this will do is it will indent all our uh, chart of accounts as per the criteria that we have defined. Just go ahead and open chart of accounts again. And as you can see, the bank account has been indented correctly. I'll just modify this one. Assets so that we are on you know a similar format. There's another way of adding more chart of accounts. So I'll just go to search for configuration packages. Configuration packages nothing but uh, it allows you to you know export or import data in Business Central. So let's say I'll just name give it a number for now say one and the table for chart of accounts is 15 gl account just go ahead and export this so this will give me my chart of accounts in an excel format We'll just put an already an exported one from here. Just a moment. All right. So this is an another um, chart of accounts that I've exported out. I'll just use it again to import it. Go ahead and paste this and there are other as well so so ordering actually does not matter here because system is just going to go ahead and insert those so we'll save this cell sheet and close it out and here in the configuration package i'll go ahead and import it And in order to see what I'm importing, I'll just click over here so it will show me all the records that I'm trying to import. Okay. Okay, now I'll go ahead and apply this. show me what kind of error is required over here so it says that there's no subcategory okay that makes sense just go ahead and remove this account category here just a moment
Okay, here. Just a moment, let me see what is here. Okay, so in GL account categories, I'll get this. So let's say I'm just looking for something similar. Tree number four, that seems fine. Okay, so I'll. I'll use entry number four here, so that shouldn't be a problem. OK, all right, so there are still three errors. This, this one's. Bad business posting group, OK, all right. So let's try to find that one. Okay, I'll make this blank. And now you can see it's not invalid anymore. So I'll just go ahead and apply this one. This one shows an error. Why? OK, so account subcategories looks like it didn't take that one up. Let's try something similar. All right, we just have two remaining in our chart of accounts and looks like C here we have imported. But for some reason, this account category is not created. So let me create a new one. Or I can do another way around where I can just configuration package and I can say that, hey, I can go ahead and exclude this field. So here I'll go to table fields. Search for category. We'll just exclude this out so these are no longer problem. We'll go ahead and apply this. So once applied, my chart of account should update. Just that the difference is there is no category here. So if I have to add any kind of categories, I can just add this over here. And this is how a chart of accounts is created in Business Central.